The Librarian of Basara, a true story from Iraq, written and illustrated by Jeanette Winter. As I read aloud this picture book, I want you to think about making connections. A connection is joined, linked, and related. And I know that all of you have visited a library. So this is a connection that all of us could make. So on your little piece of paper, you could go ahead and make a quick sketch and even write a sentence or label it with, you've been to a library. The Librarian of Basara, a true story from Iraq. In the Quran, the first thing God said to Muhammad was, read. Alia Muhammad Baker is a librarian of Basara, a port city in the sand-swept country of Iraq. Her library is a meeting place for all who love books. They discuss matters of the world and matters of the spirit. And I have a connection on this page because I too love books and I love to visit the library because of all the wonderful new books that are there and the old books. Until now, now they talk only of war. Will planes with bombs fill the sky? Will bombs fall here? Will soldiers with guns fill the streets? Who among us will die? Will our families survive? What can we do? With such scary questions, I am so thankful I haven't had to ask these. Alia worries that the fires of war will destroy the books, which are more precious to her than mountains of gold. The books are in every language, new books, ancient books, even a biography of Muhammad that is 700 years old. She asked the governor for permission to move them to a safe place. He refuses. And I actually have like a, a question and a connection here is, have you ever worried about the safety of something like maybe your toys or your belongings? This would be a connection. So Alia takes matters into her own hands. Secretly, she brings books home every night, filling her car late after work. The whispers of war grow louder. Government offices are moved into the library. Soldiers with guns wait on the roof. Alia waits and fears the worst. Then, rumors become reality. And I actually have a book connection here because um, in the novel that we started reading last um, class, Sunrise Over Felucia by Walter D. Myers, the war became reality in that book also. War reaches Basara. The city is lit with a firestorm of bombs and gunfire. Alia watches as library workers, government workers, and soldiers abandon the library. Only Alia is left to protect the books. She calls over the library wall to her friend, Anis Muhammad, who owns a restaurant on the other side. Can you help me save the books? I can use these curtains to wrap them. Here are crates from my shop. Can you use these stacks? The books must be saved. All through the night, Alia, Anis, his brothers, and shopkeepers and neighbors take the books from the library shelves, pass them over the seven-foot wall, and hide them in the restaurant. And I have a question that could also turn into a connection, too, is have you ever moved? Have you ever packed up all of your belongings that could be a connection. And so you could also write down on your piece of paper that connection that you've moved and what it, you know what it feels like. 
The books stay hidden as the war rages on. Then nine days later, a fire burns the library to the ground. I'm hoping and wondering if she got all of the books out. The next day, the soldiers come to Anise's restaurant. Why do you have a gun, they ask. To protect my business, he replies. The soldiers leave without searching inside. They do not know that the whole of the library is in my restaurant, thinks Anise. At last, the beast of war moves on. Alia knows that if the books are to be safe, they must be moved again. While the city is quiet, so she hires a truck to bring all 30,000 books to her house and to the houses of friends. In Alia's house, books are everywhere, filling floors and cupboards and windows, leaving barely enough room for anything else. And I remember my husband feeling this way when we lived in a small apartment. Um, because I'm such a huge book lover. I do not own 30,000 books, but I do own a lot, and I've had a house that looks very similar to this. Alia waits. She waits for the war to end. She waits and dreams of peace. She waits and dreams of a new library. And I think that all of us also could make another connection to waiting. Waiting for our master's degree, waiting for our doctorate degree, waiting for summer vacation, waiting for a child, waiting to get married, all of those things um, we could connect to. But until then, the books are safe safe with the librarian of Basara.